President Trump is meeting with a group of state attorneys general right now at the White House. It comes as the president and 18 states are now throwing their support behind a Texas lawsuit. That suit is seeking to overturn the election results in four battleground states. States have until 3 p.m. Eastern today to respond. Chief White House correspondent John Roberts is live for us outside the White House. John. Harris, good afternoon to you. Twelve Republican state attorneys general joining the president for lunch today. This meeting was scheduled before Texas State Attorney General Ken Paxton filed a suit challenging the election results in four states with the Supreme Court. Paxton was here today, as were the attorneys general of 10 other states who have joined that case, the latest one joining just today being Arizona. President Trump himself also joining that case in a statement put out by the campaign last night saying, quote, the president intervened because his rights as a candidate are affected by the defendant's state's failure to follow and enforce state election laws during the 2020 election. This is a case that the nation is going to be watching very closely because it's thought that it may have the best chance of anything so far of being accepted by the Supreme Court because this is Texas seeking relief from other states. It goes right to the Supreme Court and does not make it its way through the lower courts first. The Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton asking the court to throw out the vote in four states, Pennsylvania, Georgia, Michigan, and Wisconsin. Paxton, in, Paxton insisting that those states adopting mass mail-in voting broke the law and therefore had a negative effect on Texas voters. Listen to how he put it. It seemed wrong to us that my voters are now disenfranchised but in a national election where other states didn't follow state law. In this case, these states had different rules in different counties favoring one candidate over another. We, and we don't know now how credible those mail-in ballots were. So what is Paxton asking for? He's asking the Supreme Court to throw out the results of the vote in those four states. And rather than seating electors on Monday to vote for president, throw all of that over to the legislatures in those states to determine which electors should be seated, electors for President Trump or electors for Joe Biden. It just so happens, too, Harris, that in those four states, both the Houses and the Senates are controlled by Republicans which would likely mean that electors for President Trump would be seated, thus potentially overturning the results of the November 3rd election. We'll see how this goes before the Supreme Court. As you mentioned, the defendant states have to file briefs by 3 o'clock this afternoon. We may get word from the court as to whether or not it will accept the case later on today. Yeah, another big day in this whole process. We're covering John Roberts. Thank you very much.